Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for what is on his slash her mind. So we have these three beautiful groups, one, two, and three, and can we just admire this heart-shaped crystal for a second? It is, it is actually so heavy. Stunning, 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 stunning. So yeah, those are the groups, and if you Oh, <laughs> if you'd like to win a free reading with me, you know, do check out the description box below. Since I do a giveaway every single month, if you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy, so if you are interested, definitely do check those out. I'm actually wearing the Love one, which is this red one right here, and I'm also wearing this... Um, beautiful iridescent bracelet which reminds me actually of the colour of this crystal, like the colours of the crystals and that is the Boost Intuition bracelet. Now these are meditated with, they are sage, they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life and also if you want to check out the reviews and see how other people have some results then please do check out my Etsy shop, you know the link is in the description box below. Reviews are there, free international shipping on every single thing. That is right, that is right, you know this is my passion. I love sharing all of these intentions and really good energies with you and you know I just I want to give you know so check it out check it out check it out all right so let's get started right what is on his slash her mind all right so yeah we've got these three beautiful beautiful groups and I'm just going to move the other two groups out of the way so this is group one by the way okay so All right, group number one. Let's have a look and see what is on his slash her mind. We're going to be diving very deep. You've got the moon here. It almost seems to me like you can pick up very intuitively on what this person may actually have on their mind, which is quite interesting because the moon is all about intuition, right? It's about signals. It's about um, emotions. And the moon controls and is very known to control the tides, control the emotions of not only human beings, but also insects and animals. So, you know, you've chosen this particular group, of course, with the moon quartz crystal. And this to me really does suggest that it's almost like you just know, right? You just know. You have this inkling that you know what's on their mind, but you just want to make sure. I see you, I see you, and that's fine. Let's have a look. Okay, let's get started. This um, deck is called Neo Tarot, just for those of you that are wondering. We're going to do a 12 card spread and we're going to dive very deep indeed. Okay, I see you, I see you, group number one. You know what's happening here is that I feel very much so, again, that link in terms of intuition. I feel that you feel, <laughs> it sounds so funny to say, I feel that you feel that you just know that this person has an interest in you, you know, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what's going on, really in your connection, this person does have an interest in you. And I feel like you just intuitively, you know that this person has, an, you know, has that connection. It's like, you're just trying to double check, you're trying to, you know, just figure that out. Um, and the page of ones here shows an interest, okay? What is on his slash her mind? Well, guess what? It's you. Surprise! It is you, it is you. The page of ones is really about having an interest in something. It's about um, really sort of diving into the depths of it a little bit, you know, touching the surface and then wanting to go a little bit deeper into something. So this shows that you are on their mind. They are thinking about you. They are wondering about you. They find you intriguing. They find you mysterious. I also feel like this person is doing some kind of creative stuff as well, which is also coming through, whether it's painting or writing or something. It's, it's taking their time. It's like a little project that they're, they're currently doing. So this is also um, on their mind at this very point in time some creative stuff, some fun stuff. It's like they're diving into those things and, and really enjoying it. it. can also be, you know, music and dancing or something that essentially takes up some of their time. 
that they're quite passionate about, you know. So definitely you are on their mind, but also their passions are on their mind and creative things as well. And that is what is on his or her mind. I'm just going to say there, just for reference, so it's just a lot better, right? Like what's on their mind. Um, so let's have a look what else we pick up on. There's definitely a spark there for sure. And I feel like intuitively you also feel like there's a spark. I feel like actually there's a spiritual connection between the two of you, which is why you feel so much of their own their energy. Okay. We've got the Emperor, we've got Justice as well. So something here also tells me that they're very much so focused on resolving something. Okay. Now, I'm going to get really specific, and this bit may not make sense to everyone, but I just want to mention that this is a general reading, so when I get specific in this little bit, just uh, just keep that in mind. For some of them, okay, they may be trying to finalise, you know, for example, um, a divorce or a, a situation um, with someone else that has just maybe been ongoing, because some of you may be dealing with a third party situation, like they may already be with someone and you may already know that they're with someone. But this is about them trying to separate from that particular person or trying to move on from that particular person. And that's what justice here is also showcasing. Now, for those of you, for some of you, you know, for this portion of you where there isn't a third party or they're not married to then be divorced or anything like that, for those of you in a situation like that, this is about them trying to find balance and peace and a resolve with you. Because ultimately, they have an interest in you, regardless of their situation. That's why I said right at the beginning, regardless you know, of what is like truly, truly um, going on, this is about them wanting to really find that resolve. You know, they have an interest in you. Yes, there are some other things in terms of their hobbies also taking up their mind. But they're also trying to find a resolve. And for some people, not all, that resolve will be in regards to, you know, divorces, uh, separation, and also potentially resolving things with you, you know, like coming back around. So just know that this is a very open reading in that sense. But I mean, it's going to hit some of you and you're going to be like, whoa, that is so, so accurate. I just know it. I feel like I, I, feel like I just know it. Some of you are just going to, you're going to be like, yes. Yes, group number one, yes. <laughs> okay. And then these other three cards had also fallen out as well. So we've got the King of Pentacles, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, and you've also got the Three of Pentacles, you see? For some of you, they're in a third party situation which they're trying to break out of, whether it's marriage or whether it's just, you know, another person. But this card also shows teamwork and collaboration. They're trying very, very hard to also resolve things with you and make things work with you. That is what they are ultimately also trying to do. So Three of Pentacles here shows teamwork and collaboration. They're trying to make their life essentially come together so that they can also progress things with you, open up things up with you, manifest things with you, enjoy life with you, take things forward with you. That's why a lot of this is happening with justice. That's on their mind. That's on their mind. Knight of Pentacles, slowly but surely coming forward to you, whether this person has someone else in their life or not. Remember, for some of you, there is nobody else around. But there is a large amount of people that have clicked on this particular group number one reading who will be dealing with a person, you know, the person that you're thinking about, who may have somebody else in their life as well, you know. So that's just what I'm seeing. But this is someone you already know of. So, <laughs> you know, that's that's what I'm um, trying to get across. But this card, Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. You know, they want to make things work with you. And of course, a very, very important message too, that being said. So the knight and the king here shows their growth and progression towards you. What it's also on their mind is that they really want to progress in regards to their career. They really want to put so much more into their career and they want to attract a lot more in terms of finances. They want to be more successful, right? So that's what the knight to the king here also shows. To me, it also shows that maybe they're trying to do something else on the side to their career to try and sort of build things up. I do apologise, I'm just going to take a sip of my water because I feel like I'm going to end up coughing in a second. 
There we go. <laughs> it happened. So they may do something on the side so that they can um, sell certain things or make their hobby or their passion into an actual career as well or a business. I see them really focusing on the things that they, they want to do, you know, whether that is love, career, or wanting success, because these are their long-term goals as well. You know, this person that we are really focusing in on wants to be successful, really does. And I'm not surprised, because you've got the emperor there. The emperor here also shows ego, you know, like, look at me. Look at me and my... It's a ram, right? It's a ram. I feel like it has lots of different names. I'm actually going to Google it. Yeah. Yeah, it is a ram. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, it has a few different other names as well, right? So this, um, you know, this really does signify this sense of, you know, them being... proud of what they have and showing and being like look at me look at my energy look what I got they want to be proud they want to be successful and that's definitely something that is on their mind and it can also be because maybe in the past they felt you know that people have really looked down upon them you know have made them feel not so great and not good so this energy here, especially with the ram that we see, I feel like the ram has another name. I, I feel like it. <laughs> you know, when, I, when I tap into my intuition, I'm like, I'm sure, you know, somewhere in the past, in history, the ram has had another name. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's really what I'm seeing, is that they want to be successful. They want to have these amazing things, unique things that nobody else has as well. This person may also be into collecting certain things, and so they're really thinking about their goals, their dreams, you know, in a perfect world, what they would like to have around them. Oh, it's on their mind. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. You know, just like how, I guess, from time to time you may think, oh, I'd, you know, really like to purchase that, you know, for X, Y, and Z reason. Or Z reason. I live in the UK, so I should probably say Z instead of Z. But you know what I mean. And then the... Um, Knight to the king here shows that, you know, this person is quite reasonable in the sense that they know that they're not just going to get there straight away. They've got to progress. You know, knight to the king here shows progression. It doesn't show a straight path or a straight road. Um, it shows progression over time. So this is really on their mind is that they just want to, you know, build the foundation. They want to progress towards it step by step. They want to resolve things also in their personal life step by step. They also want to enhance their professional life. They've got a lot going on in their mind. But they, they want to do everything well-rounded. In the end, what I see is that this person does think about their future and wants their future to be perfect. Wants love, wants success, wants good financial stability, wants happiness, wants some really beautiful items around them, and wants peace and balance and resolve. And also, ultimately, would like to have you as well. Remember, it takes two to tango. So in that case, you would also have to accept or reject. Remember, remember, remember. <laughs> so are you going to accept or are you going to reject when they come forward to you? Because the Knight of Pentacles also shows commitment, stability and security eventually coming your way and progressing, you know, towards you. Now, some of you may be watching this and you may already have commitment and stability with this person. Well, in that case, this is about the growth in this connection. It's about things being so much more resolved in this connection and things progressing. You know, there are some things that they really want to resolve also in regards to their emotions, maybe even their mental health. You know, there's big emphasis on the um, emotional aspect of it, which is why I also just feel that there is some who are mentally struggling as well and who just, you know, really want sort of that um, aspect of success to also make them feel like, you know what? I got this. I feel like this person's also using success as a tool to sort of deal with things that they struggled with in the past mentally. 
um, including rejection. So it's interesting because you can't just cure that with success. You know, with success comes even more stress and things like that. But that's something that this person's going to realize with time anyways. And I also feel that right now, you know, this person is trying to take some rest, trying to give themselves some good energy, which is also why this person is thinking about you and also thinking quite a bit in regards to balancing things out, resolving certain things and is really on the way towards wanting to make things happen in regards to their success, you know? So this is why this person is thinking to this degree is because they are resting and taking time for themselves. Yes, they can feel emotionally out of balance at times, but they're working on it. They are working on it. Slowly but surely, they're working on it because Page of Swords shows that. They're working on themselves. <laughs> this person's got a lot on their mind. Like, a lot on their mind. It's not just so clear-cut, like, oh yeah, it's just this, this and this. It, it's like everything, you know, but it also shows that they're, they're trying to balance themselves as much as they possibly can, especially with justice, and they're trying to, you know, let go, heal, release um, certain things that just don't make much sense to them, and things that they, they know they need to progress out of, if that makes any sense, and progress into. So this person is quite rational in many ways. This person knows what they what they want. They can get blocked sometimes emotionally and mentally, but then, you know, so do people on a, you know, daily basis. They can feel like, oh, today's not such a great day, or, oh, tomorrow's not such a great day. You know, as human beings, we do have that, that tendency, and it's a completely normal thing, you know, where, we, where some days can be good, some days can be not so great. We can deal with our emotions and our mental health from time to time you know, being happy all the time is, is not necessarily like the most, it's, it's not necessarily the most, uh, how do I say this, it's not the most balanced way, right, we have to feel both spectrums in order to, to go through life, if that makes sense, you know, so it just goes to show that they, they understand both sides, basically, also you've got the moon there in the king of pentacles card, you know, the King of Pentacles is very successful, and the fact that you've got a moon in that particular card just shows the, the spectrum of things, again, that they are fully aware of what they need to work on, what they need to heal, what they need to release, what they need to let go of. This person knows. So even sometimes if they feel imbalanced mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially and socially, they know what they need to do in order to get to where they want to be. There you go. I just, I literally explained it in a better sentence for you. <laughs> much, much better. I feel like that explanation was way, way, way better. I feel like every time I look at this card, I think of Tetris, you know, the game where you have those blocks and you have to like try and fit them in without filling the entire thing. <laughs> it literally reminds me of that. All of these cards somehow remind me of that. And it really shows here that they're trying to, you know, make the puzzle pieces fit. That's also what I'm, what I'm seeing. We've got a card that's um, flipped over. Okay, so there we go, star card. All right, so we've got all of the cards right here. I'm just gonna put the deck on the side. And we have got the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at this. We've got the Ten of Cups with the Chariot. Okay, what's in their mind? Well, they want to take things further forward with you, which is why they're doing quite a lot of what they're doing. In many ways, right, this person wants to have something with you. You are on their mind, but they know they have to get a lot of other things in their life together so that they can also please you, satisfy you, and so that, you know, the two of you can start something with, you know, a fresh, clean slate. You can just progress into the distance without having to worry about other things. For example, so that you don't have to worry about, you know, finances, or for example, you don't have to worry about, you know, another person in the picture, or you don't have to worry about them being, at times, unsure, you know, of certain things. Like, 
This person wants to make sure that they know what they want so that when the two of you do progress, it's easy going. You know, it's, it just flows. It's simple. And it's exciting. That's, that's what I'm seeing here. That is literally what I'm seeing here, is that this person really wants something with you. Again, you've got the moon being held in this chariot card. It shows balance. It also shows nurture and care. So you are on this person's mind and this person wants to take things further forward with you, which is why they're also trying to just make things come together in their life as well at the same time. Well, they do it for themselves as well, but they do it because they also see a future with you and they want to come across as someone that's strong and successful so that they can also, you know, show to you that like, you know, you, look at me, <laughs> look at me but also so that they can somehow also impress your family. Like that's also something that's coming through as well. Because Ten of Cups is a family energy and it's also about, you know, dancing. I mentioned dancing before as well, very early on in regards to like passions, but the Ten of Cups here shows this beautiful energy of just, you know, beautiful sunset, happiness, mutual energy, very, very mutual. You're definitely on their mind. Their future is definitely on their mind. Oh yes, which is why I think they're doing quite a lot of this. And the Ace of Pentacles shows love, success, a wish come true. It shows growth. It also shows commitment, stability, security, the star card, right? They're doing a lot. They're trying to heal, release, let go, make things much more balanced so that they feel really wholesome, so that they know what they want, they know what they want to do, they know what they want to progress with, so that their stars can align, so that things can come together in a really beautiful and solid way. And look at this, Four of Pentacles, right? Four of Pentacles is beautiful because the Four of Pentacles shows this very strong energy of them holding on to you, but also holding on to their visions, their values, their goals, their dreams, the things that they want to also make come true. And that is what is on their mind. I mean, it's pretty solid, right? We got so much information out for sure. But this is what is on their mind and this person is someone that values commitment, stability and security. Like they want something for the future and they have grown up also having that idea in their mind where they have really thought about, you know, I would like love to manifest in my life. I would like happiness and joy and this beautiful companion. I want to make things work with someone. I want to dance <laughs> in the sunset. I want to be able to take things further forward, you know, and make memories with someone that I am really attracted to, and that attraction they have towards you, you're on their mind. And they also want to be successful, you know, as I mentioned, they want to achieve their goals, they want to be successful, they have some hobbies and passions which they want to really progress into something and manifest into something, and they also want to come across as really stable and driven also to your family, like they, they want to, they have, they feel like they have to prove that. And that's also why they're doing a lot of what they're doing. And for those of you in third party situations, this is about them really wanting to resolve that, you know, move away from it, separate, so that they can start this beautiful, fresh, clean slate, this new chapter with you. Whoa, whoa, they're taking action, definitely taking action. And they're giving themselves a lot of rest and peace so that they feel much more balanced. You know, at times, yes, this person can feel emotionally and mentally just all over the place, but they're trying, and they're trying hard, let's just say. So this is your reading group number one, and if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private page readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy as well. I'll just show you those right there, ta-da! And um, yeah, definitely take care, stay safe, and I'm now going to move on to the group number two reading. All right, so I'm just going to take away this crystal very carefully. So I'm going to take away these cards, and it's actually really cold in my room, so I'm just going to put my um, sweater on as well, <laughs> just before I start the group number two reading. So um, yeah, I just want you to know that the um, camera has not frozen or anything, it's literally just me trying to... Uh, Put my sweater on because it's so so cold. Do, 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 do. Maybe if I sing actually in the background, then hopefully no one will think that my 
camera has frozen or anything like that. <laughs> I know there are some people that like to cross watch, um, or should I say they like to watch multiple groups um, of the card readings. So, you know, this might be not so entertaining for you, but uh, you know, it's unique for sure. All right, so here we go. Well, one thing's for sure, I'm a lot warmer. So let's uh, go now to group number two. I am back with my sweater. Okay. All right, so group number two, this is your reading for what is on his slash her mind. And we have this beautiful crystal, so stunning, um, very heavy, but extremely, extremely beautiful. And we also have this heart, um, no, star, <laughs> the heart is right here, the um, star-shaped quartz crystal as well, rose quartz. And uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do with this heart is I'm just going to put it... Um, towards the back right here so you can just see it a little bit just so that it doesn't get in the way of the actual spread we're going to do a 12 card spread for this reading and uh, this is called the everyday tarot i believe and i'm just going to put this in. oh my gosh that was so loud i'm trying to be careful and uh, just making a lot of noise as well i'm just gonna like put it there it does twist a lot so let's begin what is on his slash her mind and uh, yeah I do apologize about the noise <laughs> so sorry so sorry for those of you wearing headphones all right so let's get started I'm so so sorry okay what is on his slash her mind so let's have a look I'm not gonna lie these cards are pretty hard to shuffle but we will we will get there slowly but surely we will get there deck right here and we have got here the five of swords we've got the queen of pentacles three of pentacles five of pentacles so we've got these two fives on the outside and what this really does showcase is this sense of them wanting to change what is on their mind so what is on his slash her mind change wanting to change literally which is such a deep energy i mean that's that's huge right when someone wants to change themselves that is huge because it takes so much acknowledgement and i feel like at times they felt triggered you know they felt like I, I can't be me, you know, because there's something in them where they want to they wanna change. So let's have a look. We've got six of wands. We've got the, we're going to actually just go like this. we got the eight of wands. King of pentacles. You know, I think we have enough cards here because we've also got the emperor. we got the lovers. We've got the Three of Wands, Ace of Swords. We also have, right, the Devil. We got the Moon. Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely things that they haven't been proud of. And that's why they're thinking, I just want to change my energy. I, I don't want to feel like I'm trapped i think i definitely think we've got enough cards i'm just going to put the deck on the side there um we have got 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 i think <laughs> spirit wanted to give a lot more messages so you know what that's that's totally fine we will take them high priestess 10 of swords which i'm going to just put on the side here 
and then also the Eight of Cups as well, which I'm just going to put on this side. I know you can't really see those two cards as well, um, but maybe if I actually put it right down here, then it's much better. We can see a lot more of the cards. There we go. So, you know, one thing that really strikes me in this particular reading for sure is just the amount of change they want to do. They want to change their life. They want to be, for some reason, what's coming across to me is they just want to be a better person, you know, and I'm not surprised, you know, with everything that's happened in the world this year, there are so many people that are thinking, maybe I should just be kinder, maybe I should be nicer, maybe I shouldn't lie so much, maybe I should support the people around me, maybe I should just do things for those that are always there for me. And that's something that's really striking me as gold. Literally stunning, stunning energy. You know, that's that's just like jaw dropping when people think those kinds of thoughts. And for sure, one thing that's really striking me here is the fact that they want to change for the better. The Seven of Swords shows that they have things in the past that they're not proud of. You know, the way, for example, they may have treated you in the past, the way they may have treated their own family, friends, cheating, lying, maybe even stealing. Stealing is also coming through, especially with this Seven of Swords. They have some things that they're not proud of, which they haven't shared with anyone. And the biggest thing on their mind right now, especially with everything going on in the world, and, you know, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're watching this, they still, you know, they still have this inkling of changing, but it's to do with what's you know happened in the world in regards to the health situation that they are thinking I, I really I really should change you know I, I really should trust myself I should trust my own energy I should let go of this burden and the stress that I feel that makes me do some of these things where maybe I'm not 100% honest or maybe I'm so hot and cold and I, I I say something but I don't actually necessarily mean it or I wish I didn't feel so indecisive. There's some really raw emotional thoughts coming through. I mean, the Eight of Cups here shows this energy of self-discovery. So the biggest thing on their mind right now is taking space and time. And for some of you, you might be ghosted by this person. You may be blocked by this person. You may not have any communication with this person. You may barely have anything with this person. And for some of you, you will have that communication, but it may be so hot and cold. It may be so all over the place. Or they might just be a bit more withdrawn, so they might not be talking to you as much. And then sometimes they will be, sometimes they won't, they will be. Or they're just sort of withdrawn, you know, just a little bit withdrawn and maybe they don't feel so good. And the reason for that is because they're trying to take as much time and space for themselves so that they can do some real self-discovery, so that they can go on a path and really understand themselves and fill up their own cups with goodness with nourishment and that is what we're seeing there the star here is a real big wish you know a wish they want their heart to just be pure you know they want to move on from their past and the the beautiful thing in life is that the past does not define our future necessarily but they feel like they need to heal release and let go of some of these things in the past so that they can move forward into their future our past doesn't define us, our present actions do, but they, they just know that they need to heal and release a lot of this to then feel much more better in the future. The Five of Swords here shows conflict, you know, mentally they can feel very conflicted, they may not feel so good in their own mind, they may, may feel like they're going around in circles, just a little bit like how I am in this reading. Um, but the Five of Swords here also shows conflict and argument. Some of you may have had an argument with this person. You know, they want to resolve things rather than living in this energy of, you know, constant temper, temper, argument, argument, argument. They want to live in a sense or a state of peace. You know, the Five of Pentacles shows that they feel lonely, they feel abandoned, they feel like nobody understands them, but they don't want to live like that. This person wants to get themselves together. This person wants to feel like, you know what, I've got everything to be grateful for. I'm a good person, I have a good heart. And that is why they want to re really heal, release and let go of these things from the past so that they can just move into the future and also in their present time, they can feel like, you know what? But it starts now, you know, and the time is now. 
The time is now. The time will always be now. The Three of Pentacles shows them putting in a lot of work, you know, trying to make things progress. They're giving themselves a lot of energy. They're putting in a lot of work, doing things for themselves. It's really, really positive and it is a really beautiful energy as well. I really like what I'm seeing here in regards to all of this because it gives me this happiness and this joy and this fulfillment that makes me feel like they really do care about themselves but also all the people around them. Like they really do care, especially thinking about the initiative of them wanting to progress and grow stronger and be, you know, happier as well. They want to be happier. They want to feel more confident and just they don't want to be sad anymore, you know, they don't want to feel like they're living with all these burdens and stresses and anger and sadness and resentment. They want love, you know, love and joy and compassion. They want to manifest true love and they don't want to string people along or play this hot and cold game at times. This person is someone that wants love and happiness and joy. They just don't want to do this anymore, you know, um, in the sense of running away when it's maybe convenient for them. The temper, uh, temper, <laughs> the emperor, <laughs> the emperor card here is really about them taking action towards their goals, their dreams, and also action towards you. You know, they, they want to make things clear first and foremost for themselves, and then I think they will move to you and be very, very honest with you as well. This shows them proving things through action, because you know what? They always say actions speak louder than words. Oh, they will put in those actions. They will definitely put in those actions, and they will definitely say things to you so that you know where you stand in the situation with them. They crave a love as deep as the ocean. They crave a love as wide as the universe. The King of Pentacles here shows that they want love, right? You've got the lovers there, quite frankly, but you've also got here the Queen and the King of Pentacles. They want to be able to be mutual. They want to give as much as someone would give back to them. They want to feel stable and happy and excited, not weighed down or held back or upset and sad. No, they want to feel good. You know, they want to take things further forward. They want to progress forward. They want their ideas to be heard. They want to be trust, like they want people to trust them too. You know? And they want things to be mutual, which I think is just really, really important. So they're focusing so much on their life, but also their mental, emotional state of mind. And the Six of Wands here definitely showcases the strong energy of, you know, success and victory, forward movement, progression, nothing can hold me back, I'm going to get to a much better place, better place than I've been in. This is huge, this is huge, this is like a transformative energy of someone actually spiritually awakening and also mentally awakening, physically awakening, emotionally awakening to the point where they're like, no, this is, this is what I'm destined to do, this is where I've got to be, this is what I'm going to do. It's like they've just got this plan, you know, and they're taking the action, like they're, they're just doing what they know they need to do. This is a huge awakening, huge transformation. It's a transition for sure. This is what's on their mind. And this is incredible. You know, High Priestess, it's like they know that they're just supposed to be doing this. High Priestess is very intuitive. And this is also about them having spiritually awakened, right? They're understanding their needs, their wants, how they feel, how they've treated others. I don't necessarily feel this person is completely bad, 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 you know? Yes, maybe they've done things, you know, probably that are just not great and they haven't treated people in the best way possible at times, but it's never late. You know, they've, they've realized and they're gonna try. They're going to try to make amends. They're going to try to put in actions. You know, actions speak louder than words. They're not just going to give out these empty words and phrases. Like, they really want to change. They really want to progress. They want to make things work. You know, teamwork, collaboration. They want to be in the same sort of vibrational energy as those around them. Seven of Swords. No more lying, stealing, cheating. No more of that. The moon, right? The moon here showcases 
And I'm not saying that, you know, this person has done all of those things. I'm literally just showcasing that they could have done some of these things, you know, like, for example, just lying, or for example, just lying, and, you know, stealing, or maybe they've done all three of them, or maybe they've just done one, or a combination. You know, there's definitely things that they have, they're not proud of. The moon, again, they don't want to live with secrets. They don't want to live with regret because the moon is about secrets, regret, hidden things. It's about, you know, the depths, hidden, there's stuff hidden in that ocean, but what's really in there? You know, that's something I've always wanted to know is what's really at the bottom of the ocean? I don't know if anyone has actually seen some of those National Geographic documentaries where I was going to actually watch one which is Drain the Ocean but I haven't really got round to it, but I wonder if that, you know, gets into all that kind of stuff. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff at the bottom of the ocean, but you know what? This person is also holding on to a lot, and they're not letting anyone dive that deep. They're not even letting National Geographic go that deep. Trust me. <laughs> um, but, you know, this is really a very, very strong energy of them actually wanting to drain their own ocean and wanting to understand, like, oh my god, you know, there's this, there's that, but I'm never going to do that again. And the moon here is about cycles and phases. They want to go from one cycle to another. They want to break their cycle, essentially. They want to go from one phase to another. They want a change. They want trans you know, they, they want to transform. They want to feel much more balanced. They want to feel better. They know about karma. That's the thing. This person knows about karma. And they do believe that what goes around comes around. And they just want to better themselves. They want to burn off their bad karma. They want to change. They want to become better. They don't want to live like this. For some of them, they are emotionally and mentally struggling a lot. And I feel like a lot of them can also get help, you know, online help from counsellors and therapists. That's also an energy that is coming through, especially with the Three of Pentacles and also the Emperor. This is about getting help, like, literally. So they may also dive into that, you know, going to a counsellor um, online as well. But they're going to, I feel like they're going to keep it at times quite secretive, so they may not actually tell you that they're doing that. Okay, and we've also got here the Devil, right? So the Devil here shows that they may also be holding on to a lot of toxic thoughts, and feelings, emotions that are keeping them chained to certain things. And what they want to do is they want to break the chain. They want to break the cycle. They want to break away. They want to be free. But they want to feel whole at the same time. They don't just want to be free with this chain stuck around them, you know, where half the chain is on them, but they've actually broken away from something. They want to completely remove the chain. And that's a process in itself. What it does show is that they will get there. They will feel better, they will feel much more uplifted and that's something that's on their mind is that they want to do it properly, you know, they want to feel better properly rather than just half do something. The Ace of Swords shows an epiphany. This person has had a truly huge, incredible epiphany where they have realised, i got to get myself together, oh wow, it's 10.10 on my screen right now. I could probably show you, I hope it doesn't like disappear or anything, let me just... Let me just show you, there you go, there you go, see, 10-10. <laughs> um, just to, you know, prove it, because, you know, I could say, like, oh, it's 10-10, but then, you know, people are probably like, yeah, but Moonlight's probably not, you probably just made that up. I did not. <laughs> it really is 10-10. Trust me when I say it, I say it, I, you know, I mean it, I mean it, I mean it. <laughs> people in the comments, honestly. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter, though, um, you know, <laughs> with what people say sometimes. Um, so, anyways... What we do have is this epiphany, right? This epiphany matters because what it does mean is that uh, it really showcases this strong, strong energy of them realizing and having some very deep revelations, realizations, and knowing exactly what they want to do now. You know, they want to take their life forward. They don't want to be blocked. They don't want to feel upset and sad. And remember, this is a process. This happens step by step with time. It doesn't just happen overnight or in a month. It takes many, many days for this to progress and to happen and to feel confident and comfortable within oneself. And that's what we're seeing here. And then also the three of wands here showcases such a strong energy of patience, right? So that's literally what I just mentioned in that sense of that this is an energy of patience. They're going to be patient with themselves and also three again, representing karma. They know that, you know, the time is now. The time is now. So this is what is on his slash her mind. Just, you know, changing, transforming, feeling better, feeling stronger, 
not living in the past, but actually living in the present and just making the present the best that they can make it and being honest and truthful, you know, and having a very deep, loving heart, you know. So that is what we're seeing for group number two. And now we're going to move on to group number three's reading. So um, if you liked this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below how this resonates. Um, don't forget to like this video. As I mentioned, I just mentioned that, didn't I? Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That's what I meant. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, whenever you are, whenever you're watching this. I feel like I said that already as well. Um, but yeah, everything's always in the description box below. Um, and my intention bracelets are on Etsy if you're interested. All the information is in the description box below. Private paid readings, free reading giveaway, all that good stuff. And take care, stay safe. And now I'm going to move on to group number three's reading. All right, so let's just put this huge crystal to the side somehow. I'm not actually sure where I'm even going to put it. Let's just put it here. All right, so group number three, this is your reading for what is on his slash her mind. So we are going to take a look. We're going to see what's coming through. This deck is called the Cosmic Woman Tarot. We also have this beautiful rose quartz crystal in the shape of a heart. Ta-da! We're just going to put that at the bottom right there. And there we go. And let's have a look and see what is coming through in this person's mind, you know, what is on their mind? What are they thinking about? What's going on? Let's have a look. All right, let's see. Okay, I've got one card that's like flipped over straight away. <laughs> it's just dangling on the edge of the deck and that is the Ace of Cups. So I am going to just lay out a 12 card spread and then we'll get started straight away in regards to the messages. King of Swords, ooh, okay, I see. We've got the Five of Cups here as well. They are sad about something, okay, and Actually, do you know what? I'm going to put these two cards there, and I'm just going to put the King of Swords here. Okay, so Emperor, Hierophant. Two of Pentacles. Mm, this person wants to make things work with you. I see it very strongly on the cards. I mean, you know, the thing is, what we do have is this sadness that I pick up on and I feel like this sadness reflects on what they truly want to do and their actions and what they want to grow into and what they truly want in terms of stability and happiness and joy. And that's really coming through with the Hierophant for sure. So I'm just going to shuffle the rest of these cards. But I feel like the rest of the cards that I do get out or we get out on the um, table are going to reflect these messages. So instead of me talking about each of these cards and then the same message comes through with the rest of them, I'm just going to get them all out on the table to begin with. It's just easier. So let's do that. And it saves me having to repeat the same thing more and more. We've got the Eight of Swords, Chariot, Hanged Man, ruled by Neptune, of course. I love the simplicity of these cards. They're simple, yet elegant, yet they've got detail. Simple, yet detailed. Okay, I've got another card here that has flipped over. The world card. A 
Right, so we've got the world, four of cups, and the eight of cups. Yeah, they want to make things work with you here. And what I really, really do sense, especially in this particular reading, is this overwhelming sense of love that this person has towards you. And they also feel like in the past, they may have just made some decisions that just were well, maybe not so nice towards you because the Eight of Swords here shows that they felt in the past that they were blocked, that they were masked, that they were trapped, that they didn't know what they were doing. They don't. They didn't know that they could see clearly. They didn't feel that they knew what they were feeling. And I know that sounds so sad and it's just, you know, it's awful. The Eight of Swords is one of those cards where I think when you look at this card, you could just feel the energy of it and it's just like, ow oh my god, you know, get me out of this, it, it, oh, yeah, it's that kind of energy, and that's how they felt, so they didn't necessarily know exactly what they were doing, you know, sometimes when you're in that kind of energy, you, you just don't know how to, you know, function at times, because it's just so overbearingly difficult and hard, and just, it, it feels like a complete struggle. The Ace of Cups here really does showcase a very, very strong sense of love towards you, like this person has so much love towards you, I can't even begin to express it, and they feel so sorry and sad over ways in which they may have treated you in the past, because the Five of Cups is about deep sadness, look at this, look at this person just hunching over and just, you know, head in those hands, probably crying, weeping, you know, just feeling like at a complete loss, and that's what the Five of Cups here shows, but Fives also represent change, you know, wanting to change that. And the Emperor here shows this tree, it shows growth, you know, a lot of growth. And what's on this person's mind is just wanting to grow, get stronger, to make better decisions, and also to progress things with you. The Hierophant shows a key. The Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. The Hierophant is about stability and security. Yes, at times, you know, that Taurus energy can be a little bit stubborn, but it's an earth sign, which is a fixed sign, but at the same time, the Hierophant really values stability, commitment, joy, and the art of, you know, really giving and feeling with all of the senses. So this person does want to make things work with you. This one, person wants to progress things with you. They want to take things further with you. And they've got all of these things just running through their mind. Especially when you look at this um, illustration. You know, they have so much on their mind in regards to things that they want to do with you, things they want to progress with you, how they want to go forward, how they envision things going forward. The King of Swords is beautiful because the King of Swords here represents that they have vision. You know, they're thinking, okay, well, I could do this, 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 and this. They want to prove to you through actions how they feel. They want to communicate to you through their words. They want to show you and tell you. They want to give you that clarity, that stability, and that strength. So you've got the Emperor, which is actions. You've got the King of Swords, which is actions and words. The balance, right? They, One of the biggest things here in the mind here on their mind is really the fact that they want to prove to you that they want to do things with you. They want to make things work with you. They are sorry. It's almost like they're, they're saying here, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. You know, I hope you forgive me. They also are seeking forgiveness here because the Ace of Cups is also about that. It's about sort of doing whatever it takes to try and resolve this. You know, can that be seen as desperation? I guess, but I mean, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures sometimes, and especially when someone is so sad, they can go to the extent of just wanting to do anything to try and fix it, you know, but that comes with healing, and they will heal over time, but I definitely feel for sure that they, they feel like they're, sta they're standing on this, um, like a seesaw, and they're just hoping that things do get balanced out, they're hoping that scales don't keep tipping on one side and then tipping on another side, I keep seeing that as a seesaw, I really do, but, you know, it's it's what I'm seeing here, where they just want to make things work, and they want to do anything and everything to try and make it work with you. Eight of Swords, you know, it shows that they are so awakened to how they felt before. They're awakened to the fact that they didn't, they felt like this, they did not feel good, they felt trapped, they like they couldn't do anything, but now they know, right? Chariot, 
Charity is ruled by cancer. It's about that nurturing energy. They know. They're awakened. They're not trapped anymore. They're not bound and tied anymore. Oh, they know exactly how they felt and what happened. You know, they've got all of that clarity around them. They have lots of wishes around them that have manifested. They've got enlightenment. They know how they want to go forward. They know how they want to proceed. They know what next moves they want to make. They're hoping that you will, in time, take the offer. What I would say is right now, they're really thinking about the right time to come forward to you and tell you all of this. You know, let this person come to you. That's what I would absolutely recommend. You don't want to, like, go after them and, you know, sort of pursue them in that sense after knowing this because you want them to come to you you know, so that you know exactly also how they feel, so that it really does come from them. So the hangman, of course, is ruled by Neptune, which really does showcase the fact that they are spiritually so much more awakened. They've come to terms with themselves, their actions, how they feel, how they don't feel. A pretty strong place to be, pretty strong place to be. And the world here is ruled by Saturn. So it really shows that I feel like they're going to express something very, very important to you on a Saturday. It's something about a Saturday that's coming through. And also the world here is really about, you know, them fully understanding themselves, acknowledging themselves, their past hurts, their troubles, things that just have not made them feel good. Like they fully acknowledge it, they understand it, they know what makes them tick, they know what they have dealt with in the past, they know that they're really on a path towards greatness and better things and step by step, day by day, they're healing. You know, I also feel like in the past they have felt rejective towards you, but now they understand why that was, you know, so they may have rejected you or maybe not returned your messages or your calls or just not, you know, given you what you necessarily were thinking they would give you or been very withdrawn or walked away. Okay, especially with the Eight of Cups here. This is an energy of withdrawing, you know? And now they're feeling like, oh, maybe, what if what if you withdraw, you know, after how this person has treated you or said certain things or done certain things? Like, what if you withdraw? Then what? You know, then what? That's going to be too much for them to take. So it's almost like now they're trying to do as much as they can to prove to you, like, hey, I care. I really do care. I'm a changed person, you know? Change comes over time. But I definitely feel like they are, you know, so sad to the point where they just want to change things as much as possible. And they're going to come to you. They're really thinking about the right time to come to you as well. They don't want to over, over, overwhelm you, should I say. But this person wants to make things right. Like, really right. And they're understanding that as well. That they want you. You make them feel good. You make their mind feel good, you validate, um, not necessarily, like, it's, it's almost like you validate, you know, just how they feel now in regards to what they had, like, what they went through in the past, you know, you make them feel like, wow, I, I, I really, you know, did this, that's the kind of energy that I get, and then they, they think about it, and they realise, wow, I, I guess I messed up, you know, I, I really didn't do the right thing, or I didn't treat you in the right way, not because I didn't feel like that in the, the moment, because of course in the moment, you know, they could have felt so trapped and not so great, that they just couldn't take things further forward, but it's the way, it's the treatment, and the way in which perhaps they weren't as communicative, or they didn't, you know, give you the truth, or they didn't just, you know, let you be, that makes them feel like, wow, I can't believe I treated that person like that, you know, and they found the, a lot of that answer, mm, they found a lot of those answers from you, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to just like formulate my sentences as best possible so that at least you can understand where I'm also um, coming from in terms of the messages that I really feel you need to hear as well. So that is what I'm seeing and this is your reading. But wow, they want to make things work with you, this person has love towards you, they understand themselves so much better, and it's a work in progress, and that is what I'm seeing. So this is your reading, group number three. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. Channel? What is a channel? <laughs> channel. And uh, 
yeah, also do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy as well. If you are interested, link will be in the description box below. And uh, definitely do take care, stay safe, you know, all that good stuff as always. Very, very important. And I hope to see you soon if you choose to click on another one of my videos. And uh, yeah, everything is always on my channel. There's also lots of playlists as well. So if you go to my channel and you click on the playlist tab, you can see all the different playlists of all the different types of videos I've also made. And uh, feel free to check those out. I have so many bigger card readings actually on my channel as well, even from, you know, the past year as well. So do check those out as well. And they're shorter ones as well. So, you know, if you want like a little bite-sized reading for something, do check those out. There's a lot of very timeless readings on there as well. Okay, so do take care.